Hey guys, today me and Roman are gonna be experimenting with product photography. We literally have no idea what we're doing, but you'll see as we go. So these are the products that we're gonna be using today. Uh, we have a Coke can, an Armani watch, a Chanel perfume bottle, and my ring by Roche Diamonds. So pretty. We're gonna be shooting this right here <laughs> on the table and we're gonna be using a black bed sheet but we also have a white one and we also have like other lighting setups to experiment with this is the setup that we ended up with uh so we just used a tripod and a monopod whatever we had at home and we tried to create that seamless black backdrop look obviously right now there's wrinkles and stuff but don't worry in photos they'll come on nicer this is our key light and this is our overhead light for our products first product we're gonna start off with is our coke can this is our overhead lighting like mentioned before this is our key lighting and let's see how it looks behind the camera you can see that you can see a little bit of the backdrop which is fine because we can fix that in post but what's great is the lighting that we have set up it creates a little bit more depth it's not too flat Let's say that we did put that lighting right there in front of the coke can. The light would be really direct and it would be very, very flat. Whereas right now it's just coming in from the sides and it, like I said, it creates a little depth. It creates a little shadow right here and it makes it look more interesting. So totally forgot to mention, but we are using my Mark for today with my 7200. So you saw how we set that up, but now we have a new setup for our Coke can. We are gonna be using a black pan. This is just to help us in post to kind of blend in this pot with the backdrop uh, to make it more seamless. If this was white or pink or literally any other color, it would be really hard to work with. So that's why we chose like the darkest pan that we can find. We also put in ice cubes and we put water droplets on the Coke can. And this is just nice to, you know, add for any type of drink product or even like moisturizing products and whatever. So let's just see how these photos come out. Okay, to get that picture, we had to get a stool. So now I'm standing on the stool and taking the pictures from overhead. You wanna see? Okay. So we just finished up with the Coke can. Now we're moving on to my Chanel perfume bottle. This guy. And we're gonna be experimenting with light painting. I've never done that before. Roman has never done that before. So let's see how that turns out. So these are the settings that we're gonna be playing with for the Chanel perfume bottle. Uh, we're gonna be doing a long exposure and we'll be using our pink LED. This changes color, so it's great. Uh, and Let's see how the photos come out. So this is the new setup that we did with the Chanel bottle, but honestly, we did not like the outcome. I felt like it was too busy, a lot going on. We did try to like, you know, create like a bro broken glass effect uh, and added flowers for femininity, but it was just a lot. So you can compare them to the other ones that we took of the Chanel bottle alone, and you'll see why we like those better. Next up, we're gonna be using the Armani watch and we're gonna keep it as simple as possible because last shoot, you already saw, we added too much details into the photo. So we have our overhead lighting as well as our key light for this product. But prior to this, we did some light painting with this. Uh, and let's see some photos to compare. All right, so the ring was a complete fail. Uh, honestly, it's because the 7200 just couldn't zoom in too much, whereas you know the bigger products, it was able to capture really perfectly. Uh, maybe next time we'll work with the right equipment and show you guys those results. But for now, hope you guys liked what we came up with, and you know, give us, a, give both of us, <laughs> both of us, 
a like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next week. I mean, did you have fun today? Oh uh, yeah, I learned beer. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thanks. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we also put some water droplets onto the Coke can. This is just to create that nice, like, you know, thirsty effect. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> 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 the effect. The effect. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs>